We're going to be discussing Star Trek Phase 2 and also reviewing the Eagle Moss model. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And I'm James. And tonight we're going to be discussing Star Trek, the official Starships collection by Eagle Moss. Special concept piece for Phase 2 Enterprise. So, Sven. Yes. Should we start with the magazine? Well, let's let's start with what the hell is Phase 2? Because there's people oh, out there. We all know. know. We oh, know. you want to make... Okay, well, right, if you want to. Do you know? Kind Actually, of, you, not in the best of descriptions. I should imagine he would just, you know, it, 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 it seeps out of you. And to, as I'm as sure as if we okay. asked the wall, the wall would probably be able to tell me quite a lot about <laughs> the Enterprise and quite a lot about Prime. Okay, right. Star Trek Two, Star Trek Phase Two is the is the term we now see, use. See, I I still liked it when they called it Star Trek Two. Yeah. When they started calling it the next phase and Phase Two, it was a bit, huh? What? Yeah. Phase okay. Two is basically now a fan term which is now accepted by CBS as how to refer to it. Because calling it Star Trek 2 is confusing. Because people mistake it with the Wrath of the Khan. Oh, sorry. If we're going to talk about Phase 2, we should call it by its proper title, The Vengeance of Khan. Yeah. Um, with Star Trek, the original series, doing very well through syndication, and the moment they basically cancelled the show, them realising that the Nielsen ratings coming in and them realising that actually Star Trek was one of their highest rated shows ever. Yeah, um, and, the, and getting drowned in letters from yeah. numerous fan campaigns. As Desilu was completely swallowed into Paramount, Paramount were looking at ways to bring Star Trek back because they saw it as a cash cow. It did help that. Fair. Star Wars and Battlestar Galactic covered. Oh, well, we, we're talking way before then, aren't we? I know, first I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, that. when they first rolled the concept yeah. out. Yeah. So you got the animated series, but it wasn't long before they tried to do something um, more live action. Yeah. The first idea was Star Trek Planet of the Titans. I won't go into too much detail on that, because there's models coming. Uh, from Eagle Moss uh, to do with that. But Planet of the Titans was basically going to be a film. It was... Desi some of the design work was done in the UK by Ken Adam. There was a version of the Enterprise, a, a, a completely different refit, um, which over the years suddenly became what we now know as the USS Discovery, <laughs> which is a bit weird. Then they tried to turn it back into a film, uh, as in a four, uh, 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 well, Planet Times was a full blown film. They tried to turn it into a TV movie then. Then he went back to the film section. Then, then he went back, back to the, the mini section. series section. Then the mini series thing. Mm. And, it was blah, blah, blah. and eventually it settled down into why don't we just start a new network, the Paramount Network, and use Star Trek as the flagship show. So, what Star Trek 2 was going to be was the second five year mission of the USS <laughs> Enterprise under the command of Captain Kirk. Um, with a few additional crew members. Well, and losing Spock, because Leonard was not happy with Paramount at the time. Nope. Um, so, what they were going to do is introduce Commander Decker as the new first officer, and a new science officer called Zon. Um, <laughs> Zon was cool! Yeah. Who was pl going to be played by David Gattero, uh, Gattero I think. I never know how to say it. Um, and then we're going to introduce a new uh, navigator called Ilea. Um, who was cast as Persis Kambata, and they even got to the point where they did some test shots and test filming. Yeah, with the makeup. With the makeup and the uniforms for both Zon and Ilea, mm. which I'll probably be putting up any second now. Um, Can we put that footage of her spinning round? Say again? Can we put the footage up of her spinning round? I her think outfit? I've got it. It's yeah. very fuzzy, but <laughs> we've got it. But, okay. you know, it's from the mid-70s and nobody thought it would ever be of any use to anybody. Readings seem to indicate some sort of sensor unit attached to each device. But I don't feel an attack is the logical approach at this moment. If you will allow me to take further readings.
cheat and read the magazine <laughs> ahead of your daddy's stories. I know it's hard not to fall asleep during these stories. Yeah. But so part of all of this is they've done the, 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 some of the graphic design for the show. There was going to be a much bigger bridge. It was going to have two turbo lifts. Yeah. Uh, just in case one breaks down. Might be an idea. Um, they've got a new engineering section had been built. Um, Did they finish building? I didn't think they'd finish got, building. They've got something concept they had, done yeah. for shots because you see crew member walking yeah, past. Yeah, corridor and yeah. Bit of, yeah. And they'd started building the model of the Enterprise. Now Matt Jeffries, who originally designed the Enterprise original series, had basically started updating it. Now the model has only got about as far as being half. I would I would call half, half built. Probably three quarters built. There was no navigational deflector on it. Um, but the nacelles were quite obvious shape-wise, um, and the neck didn't have a torpedo tube on it. No, because all the concept art that I know and love was all the original stuff that didn't, and it's only been relatively recently that people have gone, oh, there's this concept art as well, and it's like, yeah. um, that's not the concept art that we grew up yeah, with. Yeah, it's interesting. So. There's concept art of it with no torpedo tube on the neck. There's concept art of it with a round. Round. I like the round. And one with the square one. So it's like... They went with the square. They went with the square one. Um, now, the other thing that's interesting, and there's a piece of art of the Enterprise that was then used for a concept... Well, sorry, not for a concept, for a... A teaser poster for the Star Trek the motion picture. Yeah, that thing died quick. Yeah, and basically that looked like it got dead. Uh, it looked like the um, positive ramscopes were off in it. Um, and some of the artwork had the big NCC-1701 on the bottom yeah. of the navigational um, hull. Sorry, the bottom of the secondary S hull. Secondary. And, and some was, didn't. Yeah. And that's basically resulted in... Everybody had a field day with it. Yeah, there's been so many interpretations of the Enterprise that you could possibly, there's about four or five variations you could do without contradicting the artwork. But the trouble so, is that unless you're a major classic fan mm -hmm. or you're alive during the period where it was discussed, yeah. not a lot of fans are that bothered about it because it's the show that actually, that was, that was a term that was banded around for a really long time between the motion picture and Star Trek V People didn't call it Phase 2, they called it the show that didn't happen. Yeah, well, The Lost Years. I lo the Lost, Lost years. years! I remember the Lost... Somebody actually released three uh, scripts mm. though under the Lost Years titles, yeah. and they were the official writers. Yeah. Now, there was but that never... No, well, yeah. 12 or 13 episodes were planned and got to various stages yeah. in... In scripting, they only ever got to the titles of the. And I love the fact yeah. they had the titles for the last two episodes. What they were about, nobody knows, but they thought of the names first. <laughs> what? Bizarre. Why? Um, now, in Thy Image, which was going to be the pilot, um, that's that, that's where all the work had been concentrated. Yeah. Um, now, as they were about to really give the green light to this whole thing, weren't they like a week away from starting? So? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and basically really working on it rather than doing conceptual things to go to the, the, the studio and go, money please. Um, Star Wars. Yeah. Basically Star Wars was a massive success. And what happened was that the Paramount High Command had literally gone to the film department, the film part of the, the business, we need to develop a... a, a Why don't we have something like, like this? this? And God bless them, there was a Star Trek fan there who went, we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. Oops. So what actually happened is for about a week to ten days, both departments were working on Star Trek. Phase mm -hmm. two, as we now call it, was still in development while the, the film department were... Having a field day. <laughs> well, they'd actually... The first thing that they actually set out to do was see if they could get Leonard. Mm. And as a result of that, that's when a court case between Leonard and Paramount was settled out of court by Paramount because they were desperate to get him back for the yeah. film they were going to do. So eventually, after about a week to ten days of these two projects actually going alongside each other, what was going to be phase two eventually got folded in and became what we now know as Star Trek The Motion Picture, using in thy image as the basis for the film script. Is how Sven would say it. I'd say it. They lost their bottle and decided they only wanted to spend the money on one project and they yeah. went with the film. Yeah. Um, quite. 
It's basically what this, happened. Yeah, I mean, it, there's so many different viewpoints. If you look at interviews with people back then, there's so many different ways that they... I always go with what Richard Arnold told me. Cause ah, right, fair enough. He knows. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows. knows. And he's a nice yeah. guy. Like him. I'm never, ever going to... If he says something, you're not going to argue with yeah. the man. Now, the interesting thing with phase, the Phase 2 Enterprise mm. is the fact that it doesn't matter which version of it you've seen or which developed version of it you've seen. They're it's, all concept. <laughs> they're all concept. They're all blindingly obvious. The whole point is, is it's a massive stepping stone between the TOS Enterprise and the Motion Picture Enterprise refit. Yeah. Though the idea of calling the Motion Picture refit just the Constitution refit makes very little sense because of the number of refits the damn ship had. The damn ship had a lot of refits. <laughs> yeah. Well, all ships do. This is the thing. Okay. It's not a. It's not but it a was a major overhaul, of... to be fair. Oh, yeah. We're not the talking... The most major one. Yeah. Now, the thing is, is with the Phase 2 Enterprise, is that depending on your point of view of it, all they literally did, or were going to do, is take the ship as we knew it, possibly add the photon torpedo tubes to the mech, take out the the nacelles and the nacelle struts and replace them with new ones. That was basically it. And swap out the warp core with something a little more um, upright. Uh, that was basically the idea. Um, but that, that, that's that been played with a little bit. Now, when my favourite version of it is Tobias Richter's one, shockingly, um, where he's got the round torpedo tubes and it's very much he's just taken the original series enterprise whacked off the nacelles and the struts given them the new one and we go that's great and that's what was in new voyages slash phase yeah, two that's the one you web show well. um so that that's quite cool this is a different variation on it we yep. have the square photon torpedo tube which isn't my favorite but there we go and it also has the grid lines a little bit more impacted onto the hull, but we'll come to that later. Um, as for what happened with Phase 2, obviously the one episode got turned into the motion picture. Two further episodes were used in Next Gen, which were yeah. The Child and Devil's Due. And there were a few other episodes as well, um, which kind of got redeveloped into um, Phase 2, the web show with James Crawley starting it all off. The most interesting one being um, Kitumba, which was an excuse to get both TNG slash motion picture era Klingons and original series Klingons together. Quick, it's been enough of the history lesson. Come on, I want to do the shit. I'll put a link to the face too. Put stuff. a link, you know. That's... There's a bit of footage probably playing over my face now. Um, <laughs> Is it of a monkey going cha 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 cha? Can you get me a hammer and I'll put it on stunt? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, on to the mag. It is a Constitution class refit. One of the uh, many refits of the Constitution class. Um, from 2271-ish. Designed by Matt Brick Jeffries. Who decided to put the Bombay door on. Yes, which is fine. Um, as designed, yeah, as designed. Constitution, NCC 1701, Dex 23. Unless it's Star Trek V, obviously. Well, yes. Um, how to put it on its stand, which is exactly the, way, the same way as all of the other Constitution variants, shall we say. Right, so there's a CG shot of the ship with the square-ish photon torpedo tube, another one from behind. I do prefer it with the orange yeah. um, buzzards, because the blue ones don't look right. In my personal opinion, I don't think blue does. Oh, there you go. They've got a nice shot of the the model. Yeah, there's one of the con early concept shots. Obviously, they've gone with that because it's got the square photon torpedo tubes on. Yeah, I don't like that one. No, here's some of the design work around about the same time, which is all cool. Um, definitely can live with this. <laughs> there we go. Nice to see. Now yeah. we have a massive cock up. The images are right. The main part of the text is right. Show about the reference into the Enterprise B. <laughs> the design of Enterprise B. Was yeah, looks. Look at the subtitle. Enterprise B. Um, oh look, John Eves designed this Enterprise B. No. <laughs> Eagle Moss, what are you playing at? What is, what is this? It's a mess. Um, at least we've got the shots of the model, which I will. 
put people that I've got better images of. Yeah, isn't it weird? I was just thinking, I think I've got better ones than that sitting on my yeah, hard drive. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's quite nice. Um, all the explaining Should we skip the mag? <laughs> uh, so Actu on? Actually, um, the, ne the next page has got a really nice shot that I've not right, seen. Okay. So there's Zon, who of course, the actor became Commander Branch, and yep. command of Epsilon. Space Station in, in, in the motion picture because he was already under contract. Uh, the, the version of the bridge with the massive step down. Yeah, which is nice. So, yeah. Well, you see, you say that, but I think it would have looked really bad on film. Possibly. Because it would have added a, a really weird yeah, stepping would It, it would certainly look strange on TV in the small yeah. screen because the thing. The, the proper, remember, the proper yeah. uniform shot. Yeah. I like that one. You don't see many pictures of that kicking no, around, which is on. a shame. There we go. And uh, another shot of the ship. And telling you about NI image, which we've already seen. Um, right, let's have a look at the ship. ship time. There we go. See, I've got a conf I've got a confession. When you said they were going to do the concept one, hmm. this was not the concept one. I thought they were going to say here. Yeah. I'd prefer Toby's I'd version because then he's already done work on the. Which is going to make, you know, commenting about this one tricky at best. It's interesting actually because that photon torpedo tube is so small. It's hard to figure out whether it's a square or round. It is the square it's one. It's a square one. It could have been the round one so much, so easily. Um, oh no, I totally agree that with the model it's tricky, but they very clearly put it on the front of the magazine. Yeah. Which is a shame because on the magazine they show it as black and on the model, yeah, it's not black. No. Um, I see uh, a little decal coming. Uh, yeah, I, I there, see a little there. decal coming. Getting on there is going to be difficult. Um, okay, I like the saucer section. And you see, I don't because it's the wrong saucer section. I know. Well, no, 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 no. It's, it's right for the version that they're showing. Well, yeah, I suppose. It's not. It's not the right one for. But I always think that 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 hole should have pencil lines, not. An indentation for the yeah, glitter. Yeah, they changed. Oh, that. I know. I know. So they but updated. They updated that. With but if that that means it's not the same saucer section top as on the original yeah. series, though, doesn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Elite. Well, the navigational flight does not see through. No, that, that that's awesome. a bonus. Like the, that. Yeah, because on yeah. there, because on the um, the original series Enterprise, they released it's translucent for no apparent reason. You know the thing that's on the net? Yeah, photon torpedo tube. Uh, isn't there supposed to be more detail than it just being one solid colour? Yeah, it's meant to have a black front. It's supposed to have a black front. Yeah, front and, yeah. Um, I like the fact that they've moulded on the two um, tubes for the, the turbo lifts, though so technically aren't those the, the, the stations where the spare one sat, yeah. rather than the actual lift yeah. tube. Um, my favourite, I mean this is the thing, is that I have a very soft spot for the Phase 2 Enterprise. Oh sorry, I thought you were just talking in general. The Phase 2 Enterprise, particularly Tobias's because I've seen it come out of that damned um, asteroid dock and it looks glorious. Mm. Um, my favourite part of this ship though is the buzzer drum scoops. Mm -hmm. Because I would quite happily rip them off this and put them on the motion picture enterprise. Because that's the only part of the motion picture, motion picture enterprise I didn't like was the black and white cross at the front of the, yeah. the cells. Because mm. it never looked right to me. Especially when it was the first ship that had the blue going on coming out of the, in the cells. Yeah. I was just like, the red and blue should be there. Um, but then, you know, the original series enterprise, they wanted to have the blue glow in the the um, yeah. and the cells originally, but they just couldn't afford to do it. So, and mind you, that model cost enough for the time as it was, didn't yeah. it? Can I make more complaints? You make as many complaints as you like. Oh, we hoisting it on it. It's bad news when somebody his age is already hoisting them on their own magazine. Yeah. So you see this bit? It's yeah. like a weird T shape. Yeah. On this, it's the same color as the rest of the ship. Yeah. On, you see, on there, it's an outline. And yeah. there they've done it solid. So, yeah, yep, totally, it's a valid point. Also, this, the the bottom part of the saucer, not detailed at all. Nope, no detailing. 
They shouldn't really have any. It, it does in the artwork in the magazine. Ah, well, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but if you, put it, in, if you put it on your own magazine, then... Well, yeah, at least they've got the struts. Yeah. Also, the ve that red rectangle, I can see a tiny bit of the line on one picture. Mm, yeah, it's, exactly. it's on that bit there. Yeah, it's grey. Like, the other two, the other two are red, but the rectangle there... Well, if you're going to pick it in colour, Pick on that piece in the wrong colour. On the yeah, model. that is yeah. the complete wrong colour, and so is this bit. Yeah, and if you're also going to, you see, you get kind of used to how to pick on Eagle Moss because they always make the same mistakes. Um. <laughs> but, oh, bugger, I've let the secret out. They're going to know how to replicate our show. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> yeah, um, Eagle Moss always Ooh. tend to do that. You get used to that. Go on. What what bits got it's your attention? There's a tiny yellow bit there. Mm, yeah, there's here. yeah they they wouldn't do that on the, the model. Again, with the you get kind of used to that. Yeah. Bear in mind the cost of this model. Yeah, they are basically having to make them down to twelve ninety nine. They 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 make the and this is one run of models. Yeah. It's not something they can keep revisiting. They will keep revisiting for every country, but we're going to pretend they don't. Well, they just reproduce yeah. it, doesn't it? And unless it's something major like a pennant being on backwards, like on the fine. Um, they really, really, really painted the bridge. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Med Show up. Yeah. And the lower sensor module. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll, I, I, I don't like this version no. of, of the concept art, but that's a personal preference. Yeah. Let's rip on the model, shall we? Pass, okay. Pass the model over to you. Okay, okay. So that join line uh, just but behind the uh, the struts on the nacelles is hideous. Why? Just just why? Hang on. Point to the line that you're complaining about. Oh, that. Yeah. Just why? Why is it even there? I don't know because it's not a real join line. line. Yeah, it's not a real join line. Isn't it? No, it's it's meant as part of the art from the, the model. If you look if you look at it That's hideous. Yeah, it's that isn't actually a join line in the plastic. That's in the, the concept piece for it. Are you sure? Because it goes all the way around. Yep. I'm positive. Except for the top plastic part that caps it. It's it's not actually a a, a join there. line in yeah. the actual plastic. It's not a join line as in it's a join line in on the plastic. The CG, they it is there, but it's very understated. Yeah, they've so they've basically it, understated yeah. it on the model. See, when you yeah. said the like hideous join, join line, I thought you were going to be referring to this piece here, and I was going to go, yeah, I've got a point. It's not yeah, great. I mean that one is that the one on the, the, the secondary hole does stick out a little bit but it's accurate have, have you noticed that they've actually improved how they can how they do the um the main struts to the have a look at the join for the for the main struts too oh it's really nice yeah. they've got that piece it's only take it how many models as of this of this style of shit before Rover they finally got we 135 no no i'm not about in general i'm on about of, of varying enterprises yeah, well, before they've yeah. corrected that one um the Join line on the saucer is kind of in, it's in the right place, it's in mm. keeping. Um, as I said previously, I don't like the, the grid lines being that pronounced on the upper part of the, the hole. Mm -hmm. That yeah, those see. red lines leading from behind the bridge module to the impulse deck are misaligned. Mm -hmm. um, what else is oh, misaligned? Yeah, quite. Sven. Oh look, yeah, all of the windows are misaligned. Look, shot. look at the front. Look at the front of the nacelles. Mm -hmm. Now look at the concept art and the magazine for the front of the nacelles, not the cover. First page in. Second page in. What Second page in. <laughs> yeah, smidge, smidge of a difference. No, no, it's this, this one here. How about? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's almost like they've tried to make it round when they, they were square. Round and square. Yeah, yeah. it's... Um, but this is only like if you've been overly picky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still. Um, because it
that you finished ripping on it? Yeah. Um. Okay. It's a, it's it's an yeah. it's an interesting one to sort of like quantify, isn't it? Because we're back to the there's so many ways this is interpreted. I'm only going to do it from the, from its own magazine. Yeah. And um, from yeah. the own magazine. You know what? I can live without the detailing on the base. To be brutally honest, I I I prefer that the plain. So I'm not going to complain about that. Mm -hmm. The only thing about this model that I don't think is is you know indicative of the magazine per se is the main deflector dish mm -hmm. is is the wrong colour for the one they put in the mag. That's orange and that's the that's yeah. bronze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the main. Uh, torpedo tube obviously in the magazine it's black and yeah. square and on the front of this it's square but with a round bit and not black yeah other than that that model the actual construction of the model per se yeah is fine yeah, yeah this the the join lines are fine mm -hmm. my paint jobs are all right yeah my windows on the underneath of the source section are misaligned oh, yeah the one question. Yep, go for what it. What was the point of painting this a different colour to this when it's a similar? It's color? not been picked out well enough yeah. from the artwork. It's actually yeah, the, that's, that yeah. happened. We're talking about landing shots. struts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so in case, shot and that's that's in case the source <coughs> gets gets have to, has to be uh, separated from the rest of the ship and land. Those where two landing struts come out, and there's another one underneath there. It's to stop the the source section toppling over. It's like it, it would land like an um, one of the the nineteen well um, nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty five um, old flying saucers had that style of. <laughs> no idea what you're going on about. I would imagine there were some films we were yeah, introduced to. Yeah. Still, um, like, is surely painting that would be more hassle than. Leaving it. Well, no, before, no. But they're trying to pick out some detail to show you some detail. I they, think. they want. Pe they don't um, want people like us complaining about yeah. it a lot. Though they haven't been. in YouTube videos. Yeah, <laughs> which so, you should subscribe to. Subscribe. Um, and there is some missing colours. They've gone yeah. with grey in places where there should be a different colour. And yeah, okay. But for the price point, I'm price point, not a problem. Mm. First ever model of this officially released. Second. When did they officially release the Phase 2 Enterprise? Hey, it wasn't a Phase 2. Well, they didn't call it the Phase 2 Enterprise. They called it... Uh, what did they call it? Can't Actually, they didn't. They just put Star Trek on it. It was a uh, 90... You, you know your multiple what's-name ship that we need to review? Yeah. It was one similar to that. It was uh, done by another big toy company. It was a 70s one. They didn't produce many of them. It was a cross between the two. Yeah, okay. It wasn't quite uh, wasn't quite the Enterprise, but it wasn't the motion picture Enterprise. It had the proper nacelles, but the body was very much the, the original. Because that one is interesting. Movie. When we get to that, yeah, we need to. It's an it. earlier version of the motion picture Enterprise, and the one we actually got. It's a slightly different. Great, but context. back but to this. Strictly speaking, nine phase two is the only really, really yeah. the only model. And yes, I would have to um, say, based on the fact that it's. Though it's not my favourite interpretation of the Phase 2. It is a Phase it is, 2. It is a Phase 2. It's correct in almost every detail. I don't see huge problems with it. There's misaligned windows, but it's an Egon Moss model. Of course there are. <laughs> it's um, a hero ship, so it's come out alright. It's definitely not. <laughs> and it's not the motion picture refit, therefore it's come out better than that. Yeah, um, yeah I'm... I'm very happy with it. You say with that it. like Eagle Moss has a problem with the motion picture refit. Yeah, they, they do. They do. Of course. <laughs> they haven't done a good version of that, of the refitted Constitution class so yet. far. Um, so, even, mind you, right back in the day, we loved the fact we'd got a model of it. Yeah. But over the years, we've suddenly re we've realised how much is wrong with it, looking at more and more and more. Um, I'm going to join you in the nine. You can join me in the nine. How much was it? In the nine. Uh, twelve ninety nine, I think. Yeah, the official retail on it was about yeah. yeah thank you. you. I'm going to give it a eight point five. You're giving it an eight point five. Well, <laughs> we should be thankful we're not going to get a slide or right to figure his score. For <laughs> All right. Well, that about sums it up for our review of the ship and. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to call it a semi-quick recap of what the next yeah. phase was. Yeah, our viewers might not go it's semi-quick, but I know you. That was a quickie for Sven. Right, so...
<laughs> Thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. And you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. Yeah, please you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And there is a Flickr account for lovely high gloss images of all of the ships. Which and I will be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so leave your comments below and uh, thank you for watching. Good night. Bye. going to be discussing the Star Trek Eomos Phase 2 Enterprise and also some back history into Phase 2. Stay tuned, subscribe and hit that bell. That sounded really shit. Shall I have another go about that one? Yeah. We'll have another go. Yeah, let's lose this, this the stay tuned part because yeah. Yeah, I don't really remember really using a shooting dial for the for YouTube. I use the shooting dial for the YouTube. Make them! Tonight we're going to be discussing Star Trek, the official Starships collection. No, we're only a... Fuck you. Three, two, one. He's on holiday, so I'm swearing in front of him. He's like, off time. Three, two... I'm going to warp your child. Three, get it. Three, 